So my own question? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Look, when someone dies, yeah. we say the person dies. Okay. Okay. Nobody says the body died. Okay, and the spirit did die. Yeah, no one, no one really says this. They say the person died. You know, that's that's more logical. So, so the question now is, when Jesus died on the cross, yeah. who died? Okay. So I've got, I've got a question for you now. No, but so, look, look. I answered the question. What's your, what's your name? What's your name? Hashim. Hashim. And you are? John. John. John? Okay. Yeah, I spoke to you a couple yeah. of weeks ago. So, yes, yes. So five years ago, were you the same? So were you Hashim? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. But your body was not the same. My body? You know how do you know my body wasn't the same? Yeah, Did you see me five years ago? No. Yes. So how do you know it wasn't the no, same? Do you know why? No, no. How do you know it's not the same? Scientifically. Yeah, we know. We know. Scientifically. No, no. no. How do you know scientifically? We know because the cell of your body, yeah. all the cells of your body regenerate in one year are not the same. So your whole cell, apart from the bones, the bones, yeah. the whole cell of your body, your eyes, your skin, all your is completely regenerate. So the the physical body, so Ashim that was five years ago, is not no longer the same. Wait, well, in that case, so, it wasn't the same yesterday. Because every day it regenerates. Every day the cells regenerate. Yeah, a, okay, a, anyway, what's the point? Here, you change completely. Your body is. Right now, what's your point? What's the, the point, point you're making? This. The point is this: so you're not your body then. No, no, my body yes. has regenerated the cells. Yes. But I still called it my body. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's stuck now. <laughs> it's your question. You my body, look, look. Five years ago, was it called my body? Yeah. Today, is it called my body? Yeah. So what's changed? So, so, the, so I'm you, sorry to so you to, to, to turn the tables on you. Yeah. But what is the point of your question? This line of question is that a point? Because because we are talking about a, a single being here, yes. which is you, Ashi. Yes. Which is. It's not very clear because you are made up of. So you are made up of the body. Yeah, you're the one making Which part is not clear to you? You're so the one it's not because we're talking about a concept which is not very straightforward. John, which because part of what you just described is not clear to you? Because you five years ago you were not the same. No, it was my body still. Yeah, but it was. And today it's still my body. The question to you is this: Listen, who? listen. You know why? My so body. So so it was still my body. So this is not you. No, it is my body. Which is part it of you? That is not English. No, no, no. I'm just. I'm saying it's my body today. Yeah. It was my body five years ago. Yeah. Do you disagree with that? Okay. So you. See. No, no. Do you disagree or agree with that? Yes, I agree. Good. So, but the body of who? It's my Ashim. Miss my body. So, I said already. So who is Ashim? <laughs> oh my God! I don't know where he's going with this. <laughs> no, no. Who is Ashim? Okay, let me ask you the question. You have, this the question. You have answered. You have so asked me many questions. Hold on. Who is Ashim? You have asked me what many questions. Ashim? Now let me ask you this question. Yeah. Does God change? Uh, does God change? Yeah. <laughs> does the nature no, of God change? No, no, no. Okay. Doesn't. When God. Yeah. Before the incarnation and after the incarnation, was there a change in God? In your God, actually. The reason I say your God is because incarnation doesn't apply to Allah, but in your case, between the Father and the Son, it does apply. So, does God change in your faith? No? Okay, so before the incarnation, was God human nature in any way, shape, or form? Before incarnation. Yes. Yeah, but you you know what? No, no, not yes, but just answer me a simple question. No, no, was he no, no, human it or not? It can be a simple question. You know why? Because God is a temple. Was he so human talking, or not? No, you're, you're talking about a concept. God is something outside. Was time. he human or not? Very so simple you, question. It's like it's like you know the question you're making is pretty much the same question as uh, can God uh, create a lift uh, like a no? It's not, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. Shall I tell you why? You know. You know Shall I tell you why? Shall I tell you why? No, time. wait, wait. No, do you know what incarnation so means? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what incarnation means? It's a pointless question. No, it's not pointless. Yes. Because this is in John 1:1. 1, 1. If it was pointless, it wouldn't be in there. In John, in the chat, in the Gospel of John, yes, it is there. So don't call it pointless. No, no, no. The word. Listen, no, listen. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word became what? What did it become? Flesh. Flesh. Yes. So don't call it pointless. Yes. I have a point. Yeah. I have a valid point, yeah. and the valid point is actually in your gospel. Okay, so don't so call I've it got pointless. Another question for you. So no, no, no. No, answer my question so before. One one. Before you go to another question, yeah. answer my question first. Yeah. Was God human in nature before the incarnation? <laughs> no. Good. Finally, he's answered that question. So how is that not a change in nature, my friend? Okay. So before, wait, wait. Before incarnation, okay. he wasn't human in nature. After incarnation, he. Added 
human in the nature, in the divine, along with the divine nature. How is that not a change in nature? You said God doesn't change in nature when I asked okay, you that. I got a question for you. No, 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 you, no, you, you have not answered the question which I asked yes. you first. Sorry, you did answer, but it contradicted you in the second answer because first you said God doesn't change in nature. I've just proven to you that from only divine to becoming human plus divine is clearly a change in nature. Do you agree or disagree? Okay, I'll go, sorry. No, no. Do you agree or disagree before you go to the next question? Okay, okay. Let's say, let's say, let's say it's a point. No, no, not let's say. Do you agree that this is a change in nature or do you disagree with the point I just made? Well, not necessarily. You know why? What not necessarily? Be because, for example, okay, does God change his will? Yes or no? No, we're asking about his nature. No, let's no, de wait, let's wait. deal with the nature and then we talk about the will next. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll okay, talk about the will if you want. Nature. But let's talk what about the nature. nature. Nature means like only human or yeah. only divine or human plus divine. Yeah, but if it, what, what's the problem with the nature of being divine and human at the same time? The, the problem is before yes. he wasn't human at all. Yes, you have already agreed to that. Before incarnation, he wasn't human at all. Do you agree? I'm surprised he has to think about that. I'm just thinking. It's, it's a common knowledge amongst the Christians. The whole purpose of incarnation is that he becomes human in this world. And he comes and dwells amongst us. Yes? So before incarnation, he wasn't human. Okay, so, so do you agree? Do you agree, my friend? Before you go further, do you agree? Wait a second. Wait a second. So you go in spirit. Go in spirit, yeah? Carry on, carry on. So it can be still be a spirit, and this spirit enter into a human flesh. So what's the problem with that? So you go in spirit, which is external. Has it changed in nature? Why? It's still spirit. Why? It's still spirit. It just came into the flesh. So it just. So okay. It's so, there, so so is eternal. Is eternal spirit. And it decides. No, the nature. Power listen, power. listen. And it can get. It can, listen. It can get into flesh. When you come, no, where, where I'll tell you. I'll tell where you where the problem is. The problem I'll tell you where the problem yes. is. Do where? you know what human nature means? Oh, so you want to define the nature? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Do you know what it means? What it means. I'm asking you, go on. Because otherwise, no, nature. Like, like he said just now, oh, you want to define what it is. That's why I'm asking you the definition. Okay. What is the definition of human nature? In the case of Jesus. To be in human nature, the definition of human nature. Yes, in the, in the, in the, in the, sorry, in the context of Jesus Christ. In your faith, in your religion, in your belief. I don't understand the question. Do you know what human nature means? Yes, to okay. be like, uh, yeah, to be human, like a uh, body or like human nature, yeah. To, but, act, to act like human, to yeah. behave like human, yeah. to be hungry like human, yes. to, 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 to uh, basically uh, depend on others like a human. Oh, yes. Yes? Like, for example, when Jesus was a baby, yeah. obviously he depended on his mother for his, for his sustenance, for, for the milk he required from his mother. Yes, for changing his nappies, maybe when he was uh, not yeah. clean. Yes, and this is human nature. We yes. depend on others yeah. in our society, in our community, in our families. Yeah. Yes, does that apply to God Almighty? No, as, as I said again, so you go spirit and it get into the human body. Yeah. <laughs> so he was un yes, it's still, it's still the spirit. Is still no, no. You know, you know what the difference is? Before he was unlimited, and then he became limited. It can still be unlimited. How was he unlimited when he said, I by myself can do nothing? No, it, can, it can still That's be unlimited, but as be also part of a human being. Listen, in John 5.30, I'll, I'll tell you why not. In John 5.30, here's the answer. The answer is in your gospel. I don't think you read your gospel. Why? Why? Ah, so is your religion based on logic or the gospel? No, no, wait. We're we having a logical discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Who said we're having a logical discussion? No. Okay, I use logic to, plus the uh, scriptures. We're trying, we're trying to use arguments, logical arguments, okay, and see whether they are, they logically, they sustain themselves. Really? Or not. And you so you're not going to use the scripture no, at no, all? No, is that what you're saying? No, 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 now we're using the scripture, which is not, not necessary now to use the scripture. It's very necessary. No. Because, because it doesn't agree with you, that's why for you it's not necessary. No, it's not necessary now, because we, we're, trying, we're trying to discuss a concept which is the Trinitarian concept. Yeah, which is from the Gospels. Sorry, from the religion. So don't tell me not to use religion no, okay. and only use logic. No, wait. It's a, it's a counter no, no. counterproductive argument for wait. you. We are trying to see whether it's logically consistent. Okay. The okay. Trinity and is we, incoherent we, we just and illogical. We're just seeing with the arguments whether it is logically consistent. No, I'll tell you why. It's, yes, I so I'll tell you why it's illogical. And it's Listen. And it's easy. Here's the reason why it is illogical. Because for an independent, unlimited, 
eternal God to become dependent and limited is it can, the, it can still be limited. At least let me finish my point. At least let me finish the point. Let me finish the point and then yes. you speak. Okay? God, by definition, is illimited. But I mean, the camera has, 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 uh, uh, has recorded the discussion, so you can see, everyone can see. Yeah, I'm sure everyone can see. What's consistent. Let's move no on. problem. Let's, Let's move, move on, on to the will. Let's move on to the no, will. No, 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 why don't you move on? No, 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 no. I'm asking you about no, God Almighty. Because, listen, listen. Because you, for you, for you, you to speak about stuck, God, you're listen. You're stuck on the, on the... No, I'm not stuck. This was your point about the Trinity. Okay. For you, it was to prove that it was logical and coherent. Yeah, now, all I of a sudden, you don't want to use the scripture. I, I, your whole I point is actually based on your Bible, sorry, on the Bible and your church. And now you're saying not to use that. No, because we're trying to have a, lo we're trying to have a logical discussion on the concept of Trinity. And I think that I gave the arg some arguments which can be... Uh, and you can't admit it yourself in your own argument. Yeah, exactly. That's no, why. Right. 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 So you're yeah. telling me that yeah. 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 first, yeah. then he's saying God cannot change his nature. And then he said, <laughs> yeah. oh, actually, yeah, he can't change his nature. Yeah. No, no, that's that's the, no. Okay, so once again, can God change his nature? No, he can't. He can't. When he became from only divine to human, is that not changed? No, because I'm, as I said, so his nature is his nature of spirit, yeah? His spirit can take, can, can get into a human being. No, no, he didn't just possess a human being. He actually changed his nature to a human being but as well. Because Jesus said, who said that? Jesus himself said, he said, I am actually, uh, sorry, he said, I by myself can do nothing. As I hear, I obey. Does that sound like God to you or a human? He clearly is a self-sufficient. Wait, wait, okay, let him answer the question. When Jesus says, I by myself can do nothing, as I hear, I obey, yes? Yeah. Does that sound that's, like does no, that sound that, like man or human? No, Sorry, man or God? Because that's the that's the human being Jesus who is talking. Thank but you. God, but according to Christianity, God took like the spirit came into the human being, Jesus. Yes. And so, so why is he now talking so like a human claim, being example, and not like God? Jesus, when Jesus is has got doubt or when Jesus like uh, you know is facing death and he's worried, that's his human, the human being. Okay. Jesus. So tell me when was he God? God then? When was he God during his ministry? When did he act like God? Maybe. Give me one example when he acted. In that moment. In that moment. No, no. Give me any moment when he acted like God. Was his human? So it was. It was his human nature. He was acting. Okay. So which means? Have you realized what you have done there? You have agreed with me that his nature was now human, not God. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, he, uh, the making, penny no, has not dropped yet no, for him. You're making, you're making, uh, look, look, you're, you yourself you're said when he was human, he behaved like a human in nature, not like okay, God. Okay, let's see, let's say. Have you, have you re not okay. realized that? Have you not realized that? Maybe, when, maybe, during his maybe ministry. Maybe I'm not logically very good. But, but you, your whole okay, thing was so, based okay. on logic. Okay. And now he's saying my logic is not good. Okay, when I tried to bring the scripture, don't bring the scripture in. Okay, now saying don't bring logic in. Okay, let, what, okay. what are you going to base it on now? I'm going to give it to you, okay? So you're right, yeah? You won. It's not about winning, my friend. It's about, it's about. No, it's, it's, it's about the truth. Honestly, you, you want. It's you about want. the truth. Okay. Okay. You the truth is this: whenever you try to say God became a human, yes. that is illogical. Okay. You want. Okay. That's what about winning? It's about the truth. Do you agree that is the truth? That God behaving like a creation, like the very thing that He created, yes, doesn't even have the ability to do anything when He says, "I by myself can do nothing," as I hear, I obey. Or I judge. Okay, I yes? gave my argument. You're not convinced by my argument, so you. Won. Okay. What was your okay, argument? What was your argument? <laughs> I want to know what was your argument. Okay. I, I, I say uh, you. Got, I can say it again. So no, I said. Yeah. Go on. God is according to Christianity. God is a spirit. Yeah. Based okay. on what? Based yes. on what? Based His on nature is a spirit. Yeah. So it's, let, let's call it. We can call it like we can try to envisage it like as pure consciousness, unlimited, like you know, in time and space, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So ever existence ever lasting. And yeah. then what happened? So he's omnipowerful as well, according to most of monotheist, the yeah. monotheistic religion. Yeah. Yeah. So since he's omnipowerful, this Omni being omnipotent. has the power, yeah. the spirit to take. We're getting a bit. Uh, At least anyway, we could. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So you got since he is omnipowerful, is that is, and he's got this spirit. Uh, like um, so, it's made. It's not made of part of his nature. Yeah, yeah, it's nature. He's got the power to get into a human body, human being body, yeah. and make that human being actually God. In since he is the one 
who took that flesh. And so you think I can see any contradiction in that? Shall I tell you where the there contradiction is? No is? contradiction. Shall I tell you where the contradiction is? Yeah, the one you please, missed. Please, okay. Please, the camera here. You don't. I don't no, need the sorry. camera. I'm no, just no, talking no. to you directly now. Yes. Can the unlimited occupy a limited being? Why not? Yes, he's omnipotent. Then he's not. Then he's not unlimited then. Yeah, because he's still the spirit is still that. In fact, when Jesus is talking to the Father, he's talking to the Spirit, who is. Are you saying Jesus didn't have a spirit? No, I'm saying. So, How many spirits are there? Okay, wait, wait. So, we. So, according to the Christian theology, now Jesus, you want to bring so God, God, God. To I thought it was all logic. Flesh. What happened? Pick no, and choose. No, I'm saying no. When it comes no, to you, wait. you can use scripture no, no, and theology. No, no, no. When I say, let's just use logic. No, I'm, we're trying to, to see. I see. Where, no, wait. We're trying two to different see. No, no, wait. principles here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We're we are trying here yeah. to see whether it's logically consistent to see to see. Uh, the so answer my question. How can the unlimited? Occupy yes. a space which is limited. Okay, so uh, you need to ask God that. You don't need. No, to you're me. using logic. I mean, so I'm asking you. Okay, so I'm asking. Okay, I, I, so I, I, I give you back another question. Yeah. So how is it possible from nothing to create something? Who said it's from nothing? No, no, no. I'm just making a question. <laughs> no, you no, know, but who says asking, it's from nothing? You are asking me, how can God unlimited yes. become limited? Yes. Take a limited place. Yes. Yeah. And I'm asking you now, yeah. how can God? Create from nothing something. But who said it's from nothing? No, I'm just asking you. Okay, here's the here's the answer to you. Many okay, people. So how can he? How can he make yeah, I'm, that? I'm answering to you. Okay, so I do not please. say I do not say it's from Allah or God created from nothing. I do not say this. Allah's ability and His power is not nothing. It is not nothing. He has the ability. He's a creator. Do you agree? God is a creator. Yes. Now He has the ability to create. Yes. And God is not nothing. Okay, God is the Almighty. He's not nothing. So do not say no, okay. He created from nothing. He created with His ability of creation, of the ability to create, His attribute of creating. No, wait a second. Okay, wait, so, okay. According I think to that's the, pretty clear to okay, anyone who hears Wait a second. According to the big, and that is not nothing to anyone according to who, the big, who believes in God. According to the Big Bang Theory. Okay. Oh, now you're going to Big Bang, really? No, I'm, not, I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, go on. So, the, so this is most of most of the theists that use the Big Bang theory. Yeah, well, we are not atheists. So argument, let's talk as theists. As an argument for yeah, yeah. God's existence. But yeah. you are not an atheist. No, no and I'm, I'm not, not an atheist. atheist. I'm a theist, so yeah. why don't we speak from the perspective of theists rather than atheists? Because the atheists say yeah. who do not understand yeah. that everything came from nothing. But scientifically, yeah. that's inaccurate. Do you agree? Uh, uh, yes. Good. Yes. So even because the atheists, came, listen, listen. Yeah, even the atheists who are misinformed, yeah. yes, only they will use this argument. Yeah. The informed atheists will not. They will say, "We don't know." Okay. Yes. Yes. So the ones who who are actually okay. well tuned with even science, they will not say that things come from nothing. Okay. Because that is unscientific. Now, okay. now let's get back to okay, the question yes, yes, about wait, wait, from God, but yeah, wait, but, wait, wait. But, but let's so, get back to okay. God Almighty, who is who is infinite, let, who is who okay. is who is no, unlimited, no, no, no. coming and occupying a no, limited no, space. No, let me finish this point because it's really interesting. Okay, go because, on. Because okay, okay, so we agree that, that the universe comes from God, not from nothing. Yeah, but but was the I'm universe was the physical world that it, you can observe? It didn't exist. So then. was the physical world in God? No, it didn't exist. Okay, so it must be come from something, yeah? I told you, but Allah so, created it. Yeah, so Which surely, part of that surely the physical world wasn't that. So God created him from nothing physical. So probably he created him from himself. Okay, but he created him from... So now I, my question is, so you're asking me, how can God, an unlimited being, take a form of a... Have I not answered your question already? Limited being, Listen, yeah? and I'm, have I'm, I not I'm, answered your question I'm, already? I'm, I'm, wait, I'm returning back your question to you. No, you're not returning anything. Yeah, and I'm asking you. I'm asking you, how, how can, can the unlimited... create? Occupy limited Something space. physical from nothing physical. Who said nothing? Wait, wait. Why does it have to be physical? Okay, there was listen, the listen. universe before in God. Listen. Was already have there? I not answered the question already? I Is mean, the, the power. Cam the camera. Yeah, yeah. The I think the camera here. and the people behind the camera and the people in the audience. They all know that I've answered your question that Allah, number one, Allah is not nothing. Okay. Secondly, the ability of Allah to create, his attribute of Al Khalik, the one who creates, is not nothing either. So do not say. Wait, okay. wait, wait. So listen, no, no. Listen, I haven't finished yet. Yes. Because you're already thinking of the next question. Okay. That's what I'm asking you. Please focus. Yes. If Allah is not nothing and his ability and attribute to create something is not nothing, how can you say Allah created the physical world from nothing? Okay, so Allah created by his ability Sorry. and his attribute yes. of yes. being but, able to create. So there was there a physical word 
at the beginning in God? Was there a physical... In God? Yes. No, Allah is separate from his creation. Okay. So, so where does this creation come from? From the creation, from Allah. Okay. From his ability to create. Allah, look, Allah okay. says in the Quran, yes. Yes. when he wants to create something. Yes. But the physical, Can you please listen yes. to the answer? Yeah, I know. Was you're thinking of the next. Physical? I've already answered this several times now. I don't know why you're stuck still over there. Yeah, because have I not answered I you? you got the point. No, no, no. You have not got the answer because you're still thinking of that question rather than listening to my answer. Okay? When Allah, when, when uh, Mary, he got, she got the news from the angel that she's going to have a child, she was surprised. She was surprised that she's going to have a child. She said that I have not touched a man. Yes, I've not been touched or I've not touched a man. How can I have a child, I'm paraphrasing here, yes, when no one has touched me? And the angel responds from the, resp uh, from the response he got from Allah, that Allah is able to create from, Allah says when he wants to create something, all he says is, kun fayakun, means be and it is. This is a command of Allah. And the command of Allah, my friend, is not nothing. When Allah issues a command, it manifests. Wait, wait, wait. You're doing it again. You're thinking of the next question. I can see it in your eyes. But please re listen to what I'm saying. If Allah wishes something to be created, He only has to issue a command. And the command can be as simple as kun fa yakun, and it becomes. Be and it becomes. That is the translation of kun fa yakun. Yes? So now you tell me this. Is God, is, God, is God physical or is not physical? Allah is unlike anything. Is it physical? I've answered your question. Allah is like anything. Okay, so he's not physical. Allah is like anything. Unlike anything. Okay, so he's not physical. Okay, hear me out. Okay, so the universe is physical. Oh my God. How can the universe physical come from not physical? Okay, can you? Are you a robot? No, I'm just... No, no, wait a minute. Are you, are you flesh and bones or are you metal? Are you flesh and bones no, or are you metal? Sorry. I'm trying to t tell you from logic how inconsistent you're being. Are you able to create a robot as a human being, even though you're flesh and bones? Are you able to create something out of metal with artificial intelligence? Are you able to do that? Do you have to be like the robot? No, you don't have to be. Just like similarly, Allah doesn't need to be like the creation in order to create the creation. I know, I understand that. So which but part of that do you not understand when I tell you that Allah is like unlike anything? Okay, so, so to come back, that's have I answered your question? The, the point, yes, have I answered your question? question Alhamdulillah. Point, please, no, don't, point, please don't repeat that no, again. But the point I was trying to make, because yes. you find very you, difficult to understand what? how an unlimited God can take a limited yeah. place. Which you still haven't answered. Yeah. Yes. Can you please and, answer? Yes. And I'm, I'm saying that my answer is that he's omnipowerful, so he can do that. And in the same way, he can create a universe from nothing. Okay, from nothing physical, he can create something physical because he is all powerful, because he's, he's, he can do whatever he wants. Yes, he so, can do whatever he, so, he wants, as long as it doesn't negate his nature yeah, as so God Almighty. So in, now, now, wait a minute, as soon as you saying... This is the criteria that you just put No, 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 on, no, I did not. Which is not... No, should I tell you so why? you were saying that what God can do, oh God, you can do this, but you can't do that. Yeah? Oh, oh I'm telling you, okay, I'm, asking, I'm coming to that. I'm asking God, you can do okay, this. Okay, should I tell you where you're wrong? Should yeah. I tell you where you're wrong? So where are okay. you? Okay, yeah. this is where you're wrong. Earlier, I asked you several times, does yes. God change his nature? What does that mean? That means the Again, un I'm saying there's no change of nature. Can I let me, let me finish? So I'll tell you where you're wrong. Okay. Okay? No, no, wait, wait, wait. You haven't even let me finish. I just started a sentence and you interjected already. Carry on. Okay, please remember earlier, I asked you several times, does God change his nature? What is God's nature? That is uh, omni uh, sorry, it's omnipotent, which means he's all powerful. He's he's uh, someone who's immortal, he doesn't die. Someone who is all knowing, yes, who, that means he's not ignorant of anything. Yes, and he is someone who is eternal. Yes, he's someone who is not limited in the sense that a human being is limited or some some of the, uh, most actually all the creation is limited. Yes, he is someone who is unlimited, eternal and independent, very important, independent. Now he is the one who is not um, dependent on anyone. That means he's not contingent on anything else. Yes. Now this contingency applies to every creation except the creator. And the creator is God Almighty. Now listen to this. You kept saying that he's all powerful. But does, does all powerful mean that can God cease to exist? Who is saying it is just I'm asking. I'm not saying you're saying. I'm asking you. Can God cease to exist? 
If he's all powerful. Come on, you are very confident now. Who says this? Shout at each other though. Oh, that's a good question. No one shout at each other. You're the only one shouting here. I'm not shouting. You're the only one shouting here. Shout at me, bro. Anyway, okay, guys. So what I'm saying that's is that question, if God is if God is someone who is all powerful, is he able to just cease to exist? I don't know. I'm not God. Ah, see, that's a good answer, actually. You know, I would rather you say that than assume about God something that the unlimited becomes limited I mean, by your logic. I mean, I'm not. Why didn't you answer that question when I asked you earlier? Can the unlimited become limited? Yes, you did not say I don't know about God because you never told me this. You didn't say that, but you said instead, yes, he can because he's all powerful. That was the answer. But now when I ask, okay, another question. Can God, listen, listen, can God who is almighty, all powerful, can God sin? Oops. Can God lie? I mean, can okay. God be hypocritical? Okay, so, can uh, God okay, say things okay. be, which are answer. contrary to what He has okay. already told us? Okay, I've got an answer. I've got an answer to this. Yeah. So God has a will. So the and will of God. Come to will. No, 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 <laughs> can we finish with the no, no, limited, unlimited, no, 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 and then we go to will? No, no, that's yes? what I'm saying. So, so in this picture of God that you're having, yeah, you are forgetting that God has a will. Yeah, of course, so, I know God has a will. Yeah. So, and He's omnipowerful. So He can he's use omnipotent. The will. Yes, He's yeah. all powerful. Yeah. Yes. So what he is can the point? Use his will as well as. So it's called the will, so he can do whatever he wants. So whatever he wants, I, I think, wait, wait, wait. Whatever he wants, let's qualify that. Whatever he wants, provided he doesn't negate his own nature. If he wants to negate his nature, why not? I'm asking you, can he negate his nature? Okay, so can he cease to exist then? If he wants, then who will be God? <laughs> who will be God? No one. Is that logical for you? Seriously? You know, earlier you told me you wanted to employ logic. Now when I'm employing logic, you're saying all illogical stuff. I'm trying to discuss about omnipotence here. Yeah, omnipotence. So if God decides to to finish his own existence, to terminate his own existence, there's nothing left. Nothing. But is that is that possible for God? I don't know. I'm not God. I mean, I think. I think if he wants it. Okay, you know what? It could. It look, could, look. It could cause. My friend, okay, my friend. My there are certain case. things. There are certain things God has told us about Him. We do not assume. We do not just speculate. So God has told us that He exists. God has told us that He's uh, all powerful. He's yes. all knowledgeable. He's immortal. Yes. yes. So all these things which God has already told us, yes. we cannot just say He cannot do those things. So these are not speculations. These are things that is confirmed in your Bible and in the Quran as well. So you cannot say that God can cease to exist when He's told us that. How many Bibles do you believe in? I don't know. There's so many Bibles. Oh, which one do you believe in? But that's why you. I don't know where you see your Bible. I mean, we already discussed mine. Which one do you believe in? I'll, I'll use that. No problem. You tell me the name. I'll tell you whether it's it has that it has that evidence or not. I don't take the Bible. So I've got. Sorry, say again. You don't what? I don't take the Bible as an inerrant book or like as not a word of God. Whatever is the version. What I care about. Do you consider it is, as authority? Is the character of Jesus yeah. and his teaching. What, this is what I care about. Yeah. Where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? From the Bible, right? Yes. So you, how can you say you do not care about the inerrancy or no inerrancy in the Bible? Because the Bible is comprised of different books. Yeah. It's not just the gospel. I know okay. it's not just the gospel. So which, which version do you believe in? And you go the New Testament. No, no those and are not also versions. So you got different Bibles. Okay. You got the Bibles of the New of the Jehovah's Witnesses. You got the Bible of the um, Mormon, like of Mormons. The Orthodox. Yeah. Uh, you got yeah the, the Mormons as the Bible that anyone else has, but they added another book with uh, John Smith Revelation, yeah. and there's you got another book. So which one do you so, believe in? I mean, which one I, do you believe in? I try to to seek which one because the scholars have studied the Bible and they're trying to figure out which are the the verses which are most likely to be true and it comes from the original sources. And which is and that? I, I don't know. You I still mean, don't some, know? Some Christians, I mean, there's uh, lots of historians that are discussing this. I think that Bart Herrmann... John, speak uh, about which yourself. Really, which one do you believe in? I mean, I don't have like a Bible that says, oh, this is the word of God. 
there are some Bible which seems to be more close to the original sources. How do you know the original Rather sources if, if you don't have it? How can you compare it to the original sources no, if you don't have okay, them? Okay, so historians, as a method to go through the past and look at the evidence and you know the uh, consist like the uh, inner uh, consistency of of a book. Uh, whether there is there are similarities between uh, different books in different time, so they have different ways to assess whether it's likely that that book is is close to the original or is not. Yeah. So have you so, come to a conclusion yet? Which book is your the closest I mean, to the original? I mean, many people say that. The, Forget it. You're the, always asking, talking about I other people. Know, I'm talking about I'm, you. I'm not very knowledgeable. In the topic, John, John, so if I, you if you have you looked into this or not? A little bit. I'm, st I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not very knowledgeable. Okay, so the, so the question. So, I need to so you're unable to answer the question: Which version of the New Testament would you consider to be the most authoritative? Am I right? At the end of the if you day, look, if you don't have an answer, you are most welcome to say I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So don't let's know leave it there then. Don't struggle yeah. with unnecessary yeah, yeah, things. Sometimes it's better and easier yeah, to say I don't know. Okay, so now we have established that it is illogical for the most unlimited. Who is this God. Well, have you have you still not understood that the unlimited God cannot occupy a limited space? So you deciding what God can do? No, no. I'm asking you this question several times now. What is the response to that? I, as I said, I mean, it's very difficult to. It's very difficult because he comes to omnipotence. Omnipotence actually, doesn't mean that he can do. Everything, even that goes against his own nature. We, I think we should, Omnipotence I think means we he can do everything I that is be, beyond order, the creation ability. To have a, a proper philosophical discussion, because this is not a very good one, we should first of all define what omnipotence is and agree with uh, what omnipotence is. If we don't do that, so why didn't you ask me that first? We can't go and. You never any asked further. me that. If you okay. asked me, I would have told you. Okay, so, so according to you, omnipotence is being able to do whatever he wants but not against his own nature yes yeah in a nutshell yes yes the, pro the problem is what is your definition the problem is with this definition is yeah. that the nature of God itself is not something that can be easily known unless okay. he tells us yes which so I've already told you just now about this, no 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 let's be fair let's be fair I told you several things about God Almighty okay, so, yeah, which he has already revealed yeah, to us okay, so, so do not say we are speculating yes. So, okay, but, but he's an omnipotence. You included also the omnipotence. Yes, he told okay. us that as well. So, yeah, but omnipotence. So, wait, wait. So when you say omnipotence, wait, wait. Okay, okay, what is your definition of omnipotence? You have, you know, mind. So what is yours? Do whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. So yes. even, even though if God tells us in the Bible that He knows everything, can He be ignorant? But he can stop his, in your, his, his knowledge for a, for a second? That's not called stopping knowledge. Why not? That is called, no, no, no. When God tells you, for example, if you believe Jesus is God, and he tells you very clearly that he doesn't know the hour, we need to speak yes, to you. he doesn't know the hour, then that is clear that he's saying, I don't know. Yes? And why it's okay, just ignore him. Just, just ignore him. From the Facebook page, and also deleted his comments, and you was told one year ago, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, Raj. Was that cool? I have no explanation you want to or no to reason or to explain is to you. Irrelevant. Okay. I will so what I'm you. saying is that based you on the Bible itself, the he has answered very clearly that he doesn't know the hour. Yes? Now, if someone says, I don't know something, that is either telling a lie or he's telling the truth. So was Jesus telling a lie when he says he didn't know the hour or was he telling the truth? Yes? Who is Which one was a it? convicted terrorist is who is in prison and I will not repeat it again. Yeah? Why did I you... Bro, bro, right. leave him. The more you respond to him, the more you talk. Him. Just leave him. I hope, I hope let, you, him let him talk. I hope I why don't did have to say this. Yeah, this Paul That's good. For doing so, that. Oh, look. according to, yeah, to Christian theology, God took uh, the form of a man, like, you know, the spirit God took the form of a man. But the man... So Jesus was. So we can say that Jesus was at the same time a man. In his, in his so if he's still God, was he still God? Was he still God though? 
When he became a man, was he still God? Probably when when there was when he was making this claim. Don't respond, guys. Don't respond. Jesus was. Uh, acting according to his human nature rather than his divine nature. But when you say he was acting his human nature, that means was he 0% God and 100% man? Which one was it? Was he 100% God and 100% man? Or was he 0% God and 100% man? Which one was it? You see what he meant by illogical and in incoherent when you talk about an almighty God who becomes a man and then becomes completely limited that he all the knowledge that he had now all of a sudden is gone to zero as far as god is concerned because as i said if you have that spirit you know which is everywhere okay that is a spirit that hasn't got we're talking about knowledge my friend i'm not talking about the spirit that, now that, that spirit yes okay, god can can limit himself but doesn't necessarily mean that you know, his own existence is eternal, is gone. So was so was so are you telling me so that Jesus the spirit nature of God is gone? No no no. Not, I'm not talking about the spirit nature and human that, nature. And now he's in the human form. Okay, hear me Can out. Can you get this? Hear me out. It's not I'm not talking about the spirit nature or the human nature. I'm talking about his knowledge. Was Jesus telling a lie when he says he doesn't know the hour and only the father knows? Or was he telling the truth? Did he know the hour or did he not know the hour? As a man. As a man, he didn't. He didn't, which means he became limited in his knowledge. Am I right? Unless, he, unless you're telling me that he was actually, he knew the hour, yes. but he told a lie yes. to people. Yes. So which one was it? Yes. So did he tell a lie or did he tell the truth? We, we've already agreed that, G, that God is limited in himself. So why God cannot be limited? Himself? Thank you very much. You finally, said, finally. You said, you, have, you said that logically God cannot no, limit no, no. himself. But I can't see any illogical no. thing. Shall I tell you why the illogical In God limiting himself. Okay. Why so I now you've agreed. You've because agreed because power. of this compound nature of your God that he was all knowing unlimited eternal infinite he became what limited am i right based on what you just told me he became limited yes he became limited am i right so the unlimited became limited now this is clearly a change in jesus no no can still be no 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 but but if you're telling me that he was unlimited and then became limited, no, that is again a change in nature. No, no not that God became limited, but he, can, he limited himself in coming to Christ. But he still, he still... So but that is a limited thing, isn't it? No, he limited... That is limited. Part of, part yes. of his being is limited in Christ, but he still, he still, he still, he still his nature is spiritual. Yeah, yeah, the Father, I agree, the Father is not limited, but the Son is limited. And the Father is not the Son. Yes, but you can, you can still have... So you can still have this eternal being, which is unlimited, who, when he gets into the flesh of Jesus, limit himself, in that, in that flesh, is limited. So who is the flesh? Who is the flesh, so, who is the, flesh the Father or the Son? No, wait. Can you, can you get the point? So I understood the point, yeah. He's a limited, he's an unlimited being, who limits itself in that flesh. It doesn't limit himself completely. It limited in the flesh. So there's no illogical thing in, in here. There's a guy there's gone nothing, barking over here? There's nothing illogical. I don't understand. So, the last so, bit he said was, whether you answer the question or not okay. is irrelevant. Then but, why is he asking the but, question? But I think, I think, See, I think this guys are mad. Why did they come to the park? I honestly, forget about him. I honestly forget about him. don't see a problem with that. So you don't I'm see saying, a problem no, with no, Jesus no, saying, wait, wait. I didn't know the hour. As I said, Seriously. As I said, as I said is is limit is limited himself in the flesh of Jesus. But that's the question I'm asking no, you. No, that's wait. called post incarnation. But it doesn't mean so he can limit just himself in Jesus, but it doesn't mean that he has limited himself all uh, altogether. Okay, here's the question. Did you, you get this? Yes, so yes. I understand what you're saying. Is everywhere yes. a, a okay. eternal. And who is each which in Jesus is yeah. limited? Okay, so when Jesus, when you say in Jesus, but he's still there. Listen, listen. When you say in Jesus, are you talking about the Father in Jesus or the Son? Yes. Which one? Yes. I'm so I'm talking the Father who limit himself. Who is the Father inside Jesus? Just, just yes. Is limited in that moment. Okay, good. In which is in Jesus. You know which contradicts Jesus himself contradicts what he just said because Jesus says every no one knows the hour except the Father. So if the Father was inside Jesus then he wouldn't be limited because the father knows the hour according to Jesus. So Jesus himself contradicted you in Mark 13, 32. <laughs> Read your Bible sometimes. You'll know, you know how incoherent and illogical okay. your arguments okay, sounded. I think, I think we'll, we'll 
always follow the, the of the course video. who's following well, they understood well, well, actually see that there is no contradiction in my so you do not but see no. any contradiction in the yeah. knowledge of okay. jesus and the father okay. you do okay. not see we, we're not getting anywhere because no, no, we are I, getting I somewhere. honestly i'm honestly saying that what? i don't see contradiction and i gave the arguments and you don't seem to no. do you not do you not see the difference it's fine okay no 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 it's not fine listen listen do you not see the difference I mean, between the knowledge? No, no, listen. Do you not see the difference between the knowledge that Jesus has and the knowledge that the Father has? Do you not see a difference? Because when Jesus was on earth, yes, where was the Father? Everywhere, right? According to you? Yes. God is everywhere. Yes. Was Jesus everywhere as well? Only the Father? Because is Okay. In the flesh, God is limited in the flesh. It's limited. So why did he become still... flesh if he's going to be limited? I don't understand. What is the purpose of God becoming limited? That's not, here we need to come back to Christian theology and, you know, all the story of, you know, God uh, taking the, um, you know, limit, him, limit himself in order to, Do you know to why? accomplish the mission of, of dying on the cross for exactly. the forgiveness of sin. So in other words, the whole argument revolves around Jesus, or sorry, because God. Because that's, that's the highest sacrifice, and that's the highest forms of love. Who said that's the highest sacrifice? No, I mean, according and to... And how is it even sacrifice? Because, okay, this, this also comes from back from the Old Testament, where the Jews were, like, sacrificing the, the lamb, you know, uh, like as a sacrifice to God. And, uh, and, uh, and then if you look at the, you know, the development of Christianity and the... You, you look you look that Jesus actually make took like he make the part he, he took the part of the lamb who is sacrificed himself in fact they call him the lamb you know the lamb of God okay is so that a difference sacrifice himself rather than the yeah. lamb do you know what a sacrifice he means sacrifice himself for the human being yeah okay let me ask so you that's, this that's, that's, do you know what a do you, do you know what a sacrifice means how do you define yes. sacrifice Sacrifice is when someone, for example, gives his life for someone else. Yeah. Is it is it for a limited time or is it for good? Is, what do you mean by the limited Like, for example, time? when I say a soldier sacrificed his life for the country, what do you understand? When a soldier sacrifices his life for a country, yeah. he's not going to get back dies, his life. That's what it in means. Order to, yeah, because he's battling, like, he's trying to kill another enemy. And uh, of course, he's killed during the war, yeah. so that uh, someone else, I mean, in order to defend uh, other people. Yeah. Yes, good. That soldier who died for his country, yeah. when the people hear that he died for your country, do the people understand that he's going to come back in a few days? Yes, I'm not ruining your conversation. Yes, you are. These you are, are questions that need to be I mean, I mean, you, are. you know, you know so rude. Me, you well, leave him, leave him. You, you know better than me. Uh, we don't need to, to stay here and discuss this. You're being very you know better than me. Okay. What's the meaning of, you know, the resurrection? And Did Jesus? The, you know, the okay. Let me let me ask you this. People know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know people know what sacrifice is. But what I'm saying is that when you use the term sacrifice for Jesus, you're misusing it. You know why? Because Jesus knew that he was come back. He'll come back to life in three days. Yes? So it's not really a sacrifice. He's missing in action for three days and three nights. That's all it is. It's not really a sacrifice. A sacrifice is something that you lose for good. For example, the time we spend here, yes, is a sacrifice of our time that we know we won't get back. But in the case of Jesus, he knew he was going to come back, so it's not really a sacrifice. In the case of the Old Testament sacrifices, those animals which are sacrificed, they are not going to come back to life. So it's not really, not the same as that. It's not the equal, it's not equal. You see what I mean? It's a false equivocation here that you guys are using. And besides, let me ask you this. Is God able to forgive sins without human sacrifice or animal sacrifice? I mean, according to Christians, no. According huh? to Christian theology, no. You need the sacrifice of Jesus. So it's limited, right? Um, your religion, your God is no, limited I mean, that He I mean, cannot forgive uh, you. He has no, to no, sacrifice I mean, an animal I mean, no. or a human being. No, no, no. Come on, don't, don't. Yes. No. Wait. Normal human being. Wait, wait. No, let, let me let me go through this because you are interested. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, okay. So according to Christian theology, yeah. Uh, yes, I mean, is order, God able to forgive to, without order, sacrificing or without bloodshed? Is yeah, your God able to forgive? I mean, he has to think. It's a good sign. Let him think. 
I mean, if you think about it, mm. every time there is forgiveness, there is a sacrifice. How? Oh. Show me. Because, for example, if someone hit me, you know, I kind of, I kind of got like some um, something bad happened to me, and yeah. I need to kind of let it go. Yeah. How is that a sacrifice? And it's gone. Yeah. How is, so that, is, how is that a sacrifice? It's a sacrifice at you, the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, I sacrifice... I don't think you heard the I question. I sacrifice... And, and that's, the, whole, and that's the, the core of Christianity. No, no, no. And then that's what no, we're you did not listen to the question. Let me repeat the question. No, no, see, you're scared to go there. Because well, this, why am I, I scared mean, to go you're there? You're scared to go there because that's an emotional thing. I think that everyone misses of Christianity. Is the fact that... The fact that you kind of... If someone did something really bad to you, you yeah. don't need to seek revenge. I, get, I agree. Yeah. You don't and, need to. And uh, and you can let it go. Sacrifice yes. I agree. Why, why, you, why you think we are worried about that? And this is one of the principles and, and in Islam. And that's, and that's, why do you think we are worried about that? And that's what, what, what Jesus showed. And that's when Jesus talked about loving your enemies. Like to yeah. love someone even though is hurting you. Even though is persecuting you. Okay, but that even wasn't my your, question. Why are you going there? And that's, and that's so noble. And this goes and against so him. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. This principle and goes against you, my brother. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Wait. Listen, 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 yeah. listen. No, 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 no. Focus here. Giving yeah. without human brother, sacrifice. brother. Okay, yeah. please. With all due respect, if you have too many that's people the talking, then we, we lose. That's the okay. Do you remember the question I asked you? What was the question? So you don't remember? You, you. Say, say so you gave me all this answer without yeah. even understanding my question. Okay. So say it again. The question. So don't say I'm scared to answer you. Okay. okay yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. say I'm scared of your points. No, I'm First, the listen to the question, which I repeat again. Is the biblical God able to forgive without the shedding of blood, without killing an animal or a human? That was my question. I don't think it's necessary. I think that the, 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 the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus is for a, a bigger picture. It's for, it's for the, the biggest picture which is like uh, trying to, um, you know, to, to kind of pay for... for, for for horrible scenes that will be done in the future or has been, has been done in the past. In other words, and the answer is no, right? No, no. Your I mean, God cannot forgive without the shedding of blood of either an animal in the Old Testament I think, I think, or a human in the New Testament. No, I think, I think it's more like a, I think that it's more a symbol. The like a, it's not symbolic. He literally it's, it's died. Symbolic. <laughs> it's not symbolic. No. He literally died on the cross. That's the whole idea of crucifixion. Yeah, but I think I think as I said, there is never there is never a forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Something without yeah, the but, shedding of blood. But, but it doesn't say it, man. Be, say it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be an actual like sharing of blood. Like the actually you need does. To look at the blood or like to actually kill someone. Shall it's I, more like a, shall I answer that a from your own Bible? Way to see that in order to to forgive, there is always a loss. There is always a loss. Loss of innocent a loss life. Loss of something. Loss of innocent of life in your case. People, which, it doesn't need to be life, like you need to kill someone in order to forgive someone. Okay, you know, you know let, like, me, let me rephrase. Like that you lose something. John, if I forgive let you, me rephrase the question. If I forgive you, I lose something. Listen, listen. You're doing it again. You're doing something. it again. Once again, I'm going to repeat the question. Yes. And this time I want you to focus. In the Bible, in Hebrews, this is the New Testament, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. Yes, it says very clearly, there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. What is your understanding of that passage? I think this passage can be interpreted yeah, please do. as that there is no forgiveness unless you take that punishment or that things on you. Shedding unless of blood. Unless you kind of, yeah, I can, like, you spend, like, you... You lose something. You lose something out of it. Shedding Sorry. blood. Which you part of that is not clear? Yeah, there is no forgiveness blood, without the shedding of it blood. It doesn't need to be an actual sharing of blood. It doesn't need to be someone who is actually slaughtered to be forgive to forgive someone. It's more like it's all symbolic. It's symbolic from the beginning. Not when, symbolic. When, yeah, because I Jews, know you would want it to be no, symbolic, but it's Jews, not symbolic. The Jews were killing the lamb uh, they were killing on uh, on Passover and that was that wasn't something symbolic that was from that wasn't know, symbolic it was, either it was, it was from the law no yes they were actually killing and uh, jesus's killing wasn't yes. symbolic 
in your case, it was literal. No, but the, the fact that he... See became, how he's struggling now? No, but the, the A simple that, question. You see how he's the struggling? The fact that he became the lamb who was killed... Thank you. Okay. Why did he become he's, the lamb? Yeah, but In order for no, his humans yes, to kill him. Because but, unless God became a man, he yeah, couldn't be killed. Clever so, <laughs> so the whole idea of God becoming a man yes. is so that his own creation could kill him. Because yes, that is a penalty. Wait. Your God had to pay in order to forgive you. But wait, you're clever enough to understand that Jesus did this because they were killing the lamb. So it was, it was really based on important. Who's, based but on who? You need to go back to the past because it was really important for the yeah. Jews. Who commanded them to kill? But wait. The animals. Who? Yeah, but let me it talk. was the same God. Let me talk. It was Jesus himself. Let me talk. <laughs> let me talk. No, 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 wait. No. You see, Alhamdulillah in Islam, don't. we don't have to kill any animals no, no, no. to forgive sins no, no. or any human like no, Jesus, no, innocent no. human like Jesus no, you to, to forgive sins. Allah is able to forgive no. sins no, no, no. without the need of shedding you of blood. Need, you need Alhamdulillah for that. Look at this story. Is why because if That's why you should come to Islam, my brother. No, you, you, you know why? Because Islam is not only coherent and logical, but it's also humane that Allah is able to forgive sins without the killing of any animal or a human like Jesus. Because you know, you know why you were struggling and having this difficulty and internal, what do you say, wrestling? The reason for that is because your own human nature, your own fitra, will not accept the fact that God needs to kill an innocent animal or an innocent human like Jesus in order to forgive your sins. Listen to this. Is this wait, 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 wait. Shall I tell you why it's not symbolic? To let John, John, go, shall I you tell you why it's not to, symbolic? You need to, you need to take that, that, you need to lose something. It's a symbolic thing. Yeah, lose oh, a human or an animal. In order to let something go, you always gonna lose something. Murder is and not the only way. you need to accept it. That's, that's, that's the core of Okay, so you're saying crucifixion is symbolic. It wasn't real. Is that what Saying. It was real, but it was necessary. How is it symbolic then? It was real because he needs to. So he needs Jesus to go on, go on, finish it. Of the lamb. Yeah, he needs to what? He was showing to the Jews, which what? were the main religion at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was the 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 yeah the main religion at that time. It was necessary to show them what? Okay, that he was actually the ultimate lamb. Okay, so there, there was no need for that, you know, to kill. He was showing that at the end of the day. Sorry, there's no need to kill what? No. Finish it, finish it. There's no need he to was kill what? That it was a there's no need to kill an animal. You can only kill me, no, no, a human no. being. No. So human sacrifice replaces animal sacrifice. No. So he went from bad to worse. As in other words, I say it again. I'm sorry to again. say this. I say it again. This is a fact. There is always a sacrifice in forgiveness no there isn't there is the whole always, purpose of sacrifice to be a blood sacrifice there but in your case it has to be a sacrifice hebrews 922 i just read it for whether, you whether whether i accept to lose something whether i accept to be it or to be hurt there is always a sacrifice and you whether you like it or not if if someone has ever someone did something why bad changing thing? the topic wait a second why changing as, the topic as, i'm saying in the case uh, of christianity you, you the only to, way you don't want to go back. no no you answered this Listen. several times already but as you always ever, the reason you're changing the topic is because you cannot deal with wait, the human sacrifice no, yeah. so you're you embarrassed by that so now you want to go somewhere else Listen, look at me look at my eyes i'm looking as, at your eyes and ever, i'm saying you're scared of the human sacrifice because no, no, no. that's ever, the only way you can be forgiven Listen. Listen. Has ever, has ever someone did something very bad to you in your life? Answer my question first, then yeah. I'll answer yours. Yes, yes. Answer my question and then I'll answer yours. Yes, I, okay? think, I think they did. You can answer on my okay. behalf if you want, well, maybe. but answer my question. Can you be forgiven what without happened, Jesus dying? What happened to you <laughs> when this bad thing happened? What did you do about it? I will it? answer after you answer my question. When, what did you do about it? Like I said, I'll answer your question after you answer my question. Can you be forgiven without Jesus dying for you? Without a human sacrifice of Jesus, can you be forgiven? I think that you can forgive or you can be forgiven. No, no, don't say Unless, what I can do. Okay. Can you be forgiven no, without the shedding reply, of blood of Jesus Christ? My reply is this. Yes, go on. You can't be forgiven or you can't forgive unless someone else is paying this for you. Ah, or, or rather, Thank rather, you very much. Rather you, yes. So you, for example, if, if you forgive someone else, you are paying that the bad things that he did no. on yourself. Can I answer that? You pay for that. Can I answer that? If you forgive them, you pay for that. Can, can I answer? Did you? Did you or you? Can I, can I answer? You can I answer? Listen to this so, now. Without you interrupting, can you listen? Okay, yes. Give me just one minute silence. Is that and true? And I'll respond to you. I'll, I'll respond to you. First and foremost, 
You haven't categorically answered my question whether you can be forgiven without without Jesus' crucifixion, his shedding of I blood. Think, I think I replied to you. Is that a yes you or got, okay? You, was no, that a yes you, or a no? Got it. Was that a yes or I no? I say it again. There is no forgiveness unless you take that suffering on yourself. I'm talking about Jesus, not a, not anybody I else. Think, I think I, I the replied, reason the reason I you're it. the reason you're you're you basically got it. you're you got it. no no you got the it. reason you're reluctant to answer about Jesus Christ and you made it like a general forgiveness is because you know for a fact that without the sacrifice of That's Jesus you cannot be forgiven. Why are you reluctant to answer that? Without the shedding of blood of Jesus Christ, you, my friend, if you're a Christian. You cannot be forgiven. I think Jesus is showing that concept, core concept, is that you can't forgive unless you take that. You're doing it again. Pain. You're doing on it again. You. You're making and it general. In that sense, in that sense, ladies and gentlemen, in that sense, yes, Jesus, is, since he represents this, without acknowledging this, you can't be saved. Okay, I'll so give you an example. Sense, yes, you need to okay, accept I'll, it, The reason, I, I know why you're reluctant. Do you because you know... Because, I yeah. think it's more deep than that. Actually, and I did you, understand what you, you said. Read, if you had read Jung or people like that, because people, no one talk about this. Sorry, read what? Like read what? Jung, uh, the same, he's a psychoanalyst. Yes. Yeah? So he rather than reading the gospel, no, no, now you're going to a psychoanalyst. No, no, but Hebrews 9.22, there's no forgiveness no, without the shedding of blood. You, if you go you're going to psychoanalysis rather than... And reading the gospel, wow. this. You, will, you will find this. That's fine. Uh, That's this fine. Concept, My friend, which is an you know, advice. you know. First anyway. and foremost, you need to understand the difference between yes. payment and forgiveness. Do you know the difference between payment and forgiveness? Do you know the I difference? I think they goes together in the sense that no, they don't actually. Yes, if you forgive, yeah. and I say this again, and I hope that this like is stuck on your heart, is that if you forgive, yeah. you always pay for someone else. Because if someone did something really bad to me today, if I really forgive him, I'm taking the punishment, I'm taking that bad thing on myself in order to set someone else free. And that's what Jesus did on the cross. So you're telling me... He took in the, he's taking the punishment okay, on himself to set over fear. And that's the whole concept of Christian theology. Made so, very but that was my question to you. My question to you was, was it p possible? I already replied to you. Yeah, yeah, you did actually, but in a very roundabout way. My question to you was, will you be forgiven without the shedding of blood of Jesus Christ? And in a roundabout way, you said yes. Sorry, you said no, you cannot be forgiven. No, he had to be sacrificed. He represents that. The Christian sacrifice, the Christ sacrifice, represents that concept that I'm talking about. That you cannot forgive unless you take that suffering on yourself. Okay. You cannot. Good. If you don't do that. He's answering my question. He no, doesn't realize that. No. Okay. No By the way, you know, forgive. listen. So forgiveness is when you. When you say, okay, I take this suffering on me, 